This is how to create a personalized YouTube intro using Canva that looks like this. Hi friends, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. It's Larissa Noon here, Realtor with EXP Realty here in Drumheller, Alberta, Canada, aka, yes, you know it, down is your capital of the world. And in today's video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a YouTube intro just like the one you just watched using Canva. Yes, Canva. You literally can do anything and everything in Canva. But before we begin, if you are new here, please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you never miss any of my uploads, and follow me on Instagram at Loden Living. Let's get into the tutorial. Alright, first things first, we want to start off in the Canva dashboard home page. Go to create design. We want custom size 1920 by 1080. So there, there are a few things before we begin that I would like to mention. Your YouTube intro should be no more than 10 seconds long. It should give a general idea of who you are, where you are, um, what you do, that kind of idea. You want it to be more so kind of a jingle rather than this huge long intro video because people lose patience and, and focus quite easily. So we want it to be engaging, unique to, your, unique to you, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. So we want three slides. So what you can do is import media. So what I have on my desktop is three pieces of footage that I took with my drone. And I've already trimmed them down, so they're each five seconds each, but I'm going to trim that trim that down even more in Canva. So in the first slide, what we want is your logo. Um, in the second slide, we want your name and your face. And the thir third slide to be kind of focused around your um, the place where you live or um, what you what you do on your YouTube channel. So let's. Let's just wait for this to upload. All right, so the first clip I'm going to be using is this one here. This is just a stream from some footage that I took from a friend's farm. They have a stream where they are at, so that's the first clip. The second clip is going to be this view right here. So this is an Orkney viewpoint here in Drumheller, which is very iconic for its views. The fact that you can see the Red Deer River, the Valley Hills, Prairie Land, it's very iconic for Drumheller. And the third one is also from the Orkney viewpoint lookout, but it's just the opposite direction of where the first footage is taking. All right. Now in the first, first section, first I'm going to go to uploads, go back to images, and I want my logo here. I'm just going to put that at the front, in the middle, okay. And then here, I'm going to put the picture of myself. And as you know, our favorite effect here is the background remover effect on Canva. I believe you can only use that if you are with Canva Pro. So get you Canva Pro because you're gonna need it for everything. So let that do its thing. Apply. I'm just going to. All right. Yes. And our second favorite effect here on Canva is of course the glow effect. Yes. Just to help you separate yourself from the background to give it some more dimension, I'm going to put this as 15, transparency up at 100, and let's go 7. I'm going to actually lower the transparency, just let's do 70. Alright, now we want to put your name, remember T. On your keyboard for a text box just to make things easy. Alright, size that 
up, all the way up, and I'm going to just bring that a little bit closer. Oops. And then I'm going to change the font to playlist script. Yes, like that. And I'm going to make it green. And let's do the effect here. The shadow. White. Transparency all the way up. I'm just going to fix that offset right there. Okay. That looks pretty good. Now, the third, third section is... I'm going to put a little... You can put anything here, like I said. It can be anything related to where you are from, your town, your city, or anything that's related to the content you make on your channel. But since I am a small town realtor here, I'm just going to put small town living. I'm just going to make that a little bit bigger. And I'm just gonna make this text green just to match the look on the second slide there. And now for this page, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. I'm gonna go into the lines and shapes, get my favorite rectangle with the rounded edges here. Right, I'm going to do another text box. I'm going to make this just a regular font. I'm going to make this white. And I'm going to say dinosaur. Oops. Dinosaur. Capital. And then I'm going to do bullet point and let's go VXP Realty. Um, oops. And then let's just go real estate. Again, you can put anything you like here, anything you want. Okay. And then I'm just going to size that so it fits there. I'm going to go into effects and then I'm going to go to neon. I just. And then I'm just going to actually just bring the transparency down for the rectangle back there. I'm just going to make this a little bit smaller. All right. So now that we have the, the general basis of our intro ready to go, now we can go ahead and add in the animations. So let's just, so this clip here is 2.6 seconds, this one's 3.5, so I'm going to trim this one down just a little bit. Get it done, and I'm going to make this one around the 2.6, 2.7 section here. Okay, now for here, and now this is where we can add in the animation. So if you just click the background, animate, usually I just do, no, I do, I do the, I do the rise. Yeah, I do the rise for that one. For this one, for the second slide, I will do the pan. And again, you can add effects to your text so you can do that typewriter let's see i think i think i'm just gonna keep this as none <laughs> um and this one 
we're gonna do the rise like that now you can play it back if you go to the very top press the play button it will look like that now at this point this is pretty much ready to go you can export it as an mp mp4 video file and then import that into the timeline in Adobe Premiere or if you use um, iMovie or any other editing software you just drag that into your timeline and add the music of your choice but I do think now in Canva Pro you can add in audio so that's something you can play around with so you can definitely create an, an entire YouTube intro just using Canva alone but other than that that is pretty much it for my YouTube intro. I only used Canva just because I wanted these extra elements here. But that is pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram at Love and Living for more content just like this. And until next time, I will see you all next time. Bye, friends.